Before we get to the actual Jersey Devil, uh, I always like to bring up this quote, the very old saying, uh, when legend becomes fact, print the legend. And this really is like the driving force, to me anyway, behind the Jersey Devil. And that is when something happens, you know, a, a story, an event, um, originally it is fact, and over time, gradually gets twisted into something different. And you'll see that with the Jersey Devil. You'll see that later on. There's a couple of locations that I've investigated that you know, there is one story that possibly makes sense, and it just spirals into something crazy. Jersey Devil is a big example of this. How over time, of course, when something goes a little bit crazy, we, we want to believe in the legend and not exactly the fact behind it. So the actual Jersey Devil itself, a lot of people don't know that uh, everybody knows the, the Leeds family name behind the Jersey Devil, but there being something to do with this actually goes back much farther, and the American Indians had a legend about them behind that this area, and they called it the Place of the Dread. There was always something mysterious, something evil about the place, and Pine Barrens, if, you, if you've ever been there or seen it, it's, it's the perfect place for a legend like this. New Jersey is the most densely populated state in the country, but Pine Barrens, you know, there's no, nobody lives down there, really, in that swampy area. Um, it's the perfect place for a mysterious creature to exist, mainly because it's, it's very easy to go in and say, oh yeah, you know, I saw something, and not have to worry about other people saying, oh, you, know, you couldn't have seen that I was there, because there's really nobody down there in that area. So the original story, in, in 1735, the Leeds family, um, has anybody ever been to the Leeds house? There is a, a location. Now, did you go to is the that original? The one Fort Ivory, basically? Now, yeah, there, well, there's actually two. There's the original house, which is just the foundation in the woods. Mm -hmm. And then there's the, uh, the tourist trap, I like to call it, which is a, it's yeah. a museum and a gift shop, of course, and that's in the middle of civilization. Okay. Which one were, were you at? I got, well, I never went in, but I gotta believe it's a museum. Okay. Yeah, I just passed by, sort of. Okay, that's like, it's like a replica of it. Mm -hmm. If you wanna find the real place, you can go to it. It's, I, I, I wouldn't be able to tell you how to get there because it's in the middle of nowhere and it's just the foundation, but uh, that is where the story begins, and this is Leeds. She has 13 children, um, or she has 12. She's pregnant with number 13, and this, this here is the uh, actual snippet from uh, early 1900s of a folklore book that was written that included the Jersey Devil. And she's pregnant, she has 12 children, she's pregnant number 13, and I guess she's so tired of being pregnant, and, and she tells you know, her husband, let this one be the devil. And of course, when she gives birth, you know, this demon-like creature has, you know, hooves, a goat's head, bat wings, a fork tail. It comes out of her. Um, this, this story says it kills the midwife, and all the different legends say, yeah, flew up the chimney and off into uh, mm -hmm. history. Now, if you look at this version of the story, you know, the husband was Satan. You know, the, the mother herself was a witch. You know, chances of this being true are... Well, husband being the devil, I would say, zero percent. Her being a witch, yeah, maybe she dabbled in the black arts a little bit. But you can see how when someone gives birth to a child, like, you know, perhaps it was a deformed child. Perhaps she really did give birth to something strange. And back then, if, if a baby was born and had a birth defect, you know, back they were so superstitious, all of a sudden that child was, you know, a spawn of the devil. That child was, you know, the mother was practicing witchcraft. And she, she made her kid, you know, a demon just because he, you know, he looked different. You know, maybe he had a cleft palate, maybe his eyes were you know, uh, deformed. You know, maybe, maybe he did have a tail. People sometimes are born with a, a tailbone that does stick out. So it's very easy now. You see this person, the child, you know, maybe looks demonic, and all of a sudden, wow, you know, the mom must be a witch. The father, we've never seen the father. He must be the devil himself. So I personally believe she did give birth to a deformed child. That would be the fact. And then over time, the legend has it, you know, all the different things we just talked about earlier, you know, the Satanism, the witchcraft, and all that. So there have been people that have spotted this thing, some pretty famous people. Napoleon's brother, when he was in exile here in the early 1800s, actually in the 1840s, he supposedly saw this thing flying around. Um, there was a mass sighting in 1909. Several people saw it. You can go online and read the newspaper article, uh, archive, and catch all the different sightings. So this thing has been seen, it still is seen today. I personally think it's just a big turkey vulture. 
If you've ever seen a turkey vulture, you know it has a, you know, that long scrawny neck. And, you know, from, from far away or up in a tree, and if you're in an area that's known to be, you know, devilish, all of a sudden, yeah, you know, that, that could be the Jersey Devil. Uh, if you've been to historic Smithville, it's a quaint little village full of, you know, overpriced restaurants and stores. There was actually a sighting back in 2005 where the lady uh, worked at the Smithville Inn. She was thrown out the garbage, and this thing flew out of the dumpster and climbed up on the roof, and she freaked out and all that. Uh, it's a show you might want to, if you want to check it out. I'm sure there's clips on YouTube. It's called um, Weird Travels. It aired from 2005 to 2007 on the Travel Channel. And she's interviewed on there. And actually, are members of the Lee's family still alive? Or they were up until uh, 2005. So there's still a lot of you know mystery around that. You know, if anybody here ever sees it, I'll, I'll give you my car at the end of this. If you have sightings, you can, you can let me know. And maybe I can have some actual evidence to show people. This is the most famous image from the Jersey Devil. It's from the Philadelphia Evening Bulletin in 1909, right during that whole mass sighting uh, we were talking about. I mean, personally, I think this is actually kind of cute. I mean, picture being three feet tall, you almost want to, you know, reach over head to head. I don't know. That doesn't really scream devil to me. But poor Mrs. Lee's, if this thing had to come out. This year, this is a cartoon, probably around the same time period. And of course, thankfully, the wondrous invention of the internet, we have pictures like this that you can find and I guess call evidence. Um, if you type in Jersey Devil evidence in Google Images, you really will not find much other than this, and there's like maybe one or two other pictures. And that is because in today's world, where every single one of you most likely has a camera on you, on your phone, and at any time to take it out and take a picture of something, we still have not been able to take a picture of this. Same thing goes for Bigfoot, the Yeti, Abominable Snowman, um, you name it, Loch Ness Monster. We don't have concrete evidence, and everybody's got their camera, and the reason is because, well, they probably don't exist. Now, I don't want to destroy your, you know, your nostalgia of these wonderful creatures, and personally, I would love for them to be real. I would love for the Jersey Devil to be real, and Bigfoot. I'd love it even more if somebody would find it, but the question we have to ask when it comes to talking about these things, it's not, does this exist? It's, can it exist? Can something in our modern world today, with all the technology we have, with, you know, satellites watching everything, you can go on Google Earth and, you know, go to the Pine Barrens and keep clicking, and you can probably, you know, find yourself looking at a swamp. You know, can something like this exist in today's world? answer is probably not. I mean, you never really know, I mean, especially out in the wilderness if you're looking for Bigfoot. There's like 10 finding Bigfoot shows on TV now, and they never find them, of course. But, you know, can it exist? That's the question we have to ask ourselves. But not to disappoint you totally, uh, there is a real Jersey Devil in some form going around, and that would be the hockey team that plays in there. 